Hey everybody, it's Ryan from Cruising with the Coleman's and we are here at the Hershey RV Show with another one of the 2024 Apex uh, Nanos. Now this is the 208 BHS. Let's start looking outside here. First of all, this outdoor kitchen is fantastic. Love this, the little fridge here. Got your bottle open, all ready to go. Um, this is the prototype model, so this doesn't close with this up. You can even solve that problem. Really simple, just like that but they're already working on the fact that they're gonna take out this crossbar so that that'll slide in. And there's a USB and an outlet in there. there. Another feature that they've added in the 2024 is that these, the frames here are all set up so that they've got a tab so you can add a hitch right onto the back and it's ready for a receiver there so you can put a bike rack on or a cargo tray or whatever else you're looking to attach to the back. All of them are going to be ready for a backup camera also. This one doesn't have an angle. Like I said, this is the boot to the prototype. Take a look at the pass-through here. Got a lot of nice, great space in this pass-through. And of course, we've got the charge controller here ready to go because every one of these rigs also comes with 200 watts of solar up on top. Like this. So this is the bunkhouse model. So we've got this great bunkhouse space back here in the back. Um, two big wide beds. You really could sleep more than two kids in here if they were uh, younger. And then this folds up and latches. So you've got storage space back here. You can put a dog kennel under there, or you could get a couple of bikes in here pretty well. This latch is open. Let's take a look at the bed bathroom. Toilet test. Oh, shower test first. All right, so first of all, um, oh. got, it's it's short, but because of the skylight, you've got room. I'm six foot on the nose. So if you're much taller than that, you're probably gonna have to crouch. This is not a ton of space, but the tub is nice if you have younger kids who uh, need the bath instead of a shower, or if you gotta wash the dog because they got into something nasty. Enough space here on the toilet. Yeah. I think it's pretty comfortable, um, and it's a good height. They've, they've raised the height on these toilets a little bit so that they feel a little bit more residential. Tiny little sink. A little bit of storage space right here, um, but we do have got some a cabinet under hooks. there, and some hooks. Yeah, we've got a little bit of storage space under here. I would say the bathroom is lacking storage overall. Um, Your towel rack's over there. Your towel rack actually should be on this wall. Yeah, this towel for the, the to hand towel, I probably yeah. want to put over here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but so a little bit lacking in storage space back here, but it's still pretty nice. And that's where you put your TV. All right, we got a TV backer right here, and we've got a couple of How cabinets here, so we've got some pretty good pantry storage. Yeah, that's nice. Towels. And of course, you can put your towels back here too. We've got some room over the fridge. Look at these 12 volt. Oh, this is not a 12 volt fridge. I think they're going I to 12 volts. I think there is an option for a 12 volt fridge, or I think yeah. they've already upgraded that on this model. This one is not, but a nice big fridge space. We've got a little microwave under here. So no it's gotta oven, be convection. no oven, but I believe this is a convection microwave, possibly. Um, two burner stove. Nice big window right there Plenty too. Of storage up here, yeah, really nice window over here for the living side. Plenty Show of storage me that sink. up here. Oh yeah. Big barn house sink. I'd like for that to be a little bit deeper, honestly. I think it's called a farmhouse. Farmhouse sink. But uh, I would like that to be a little bit deeper, but it's nice. Cabinet I nice. really prefer a booth dinette to the U-shaped dinette. And uh, this also gives me an opportunity to show you these three things though. So Asdell, uh, for all of the exterior walls, which has been standard on Apexes for a while, but the interior wall is also Asdell now. So all of the inside walls of this are Asdell. Why is Asdell important? It's 100% waterproof. It also deadens sound. Um, this will block about 40% of the sound coming from outside of the RV, except for those people talking about right now. They've also got this like bubble wrap material for the underbelly, which makes this a true three season RV because your tank is heated. And this roof membrane is a vinyl, it's not that rubber stuff. Look, you cannot wow. tear it. Wow. And even this that's already torn, I can't tear it any further. I'm pulling pretty hard. All right, show us that front bedroom real quick. You got a murky bed going on up here, so it's jackknife. Just pull it out and then unfold the mattress. What I like about that is that a kid could take a nap there during the day. Yeah, even without pulling that out, you could certainly get comfortable up there or yeah, top of taking a nap. Got some storage up here, some hanging storage in here, Absolutely. and check out the Stargazer skylight. 
this thing is amazing. My favorite new feature. So imagine laying in this bed and looking up at the stars. Blackout. Blackout blind on this side. I and love the stargazer. We've got a screen here on this side to keep out the mosquitoes and the bugs. This is a great RV. I'm really loving it. The stargazer is um, will close if you're going down the road. If you forget to close it too. Yeah, it'll close itself when you start driving. And it's Wi-Fi ready. Wi-Fi ready. Internet watts. standard. The grill is standard. 200 watts. Solar is up there ready to go. What? So uh, take a look at this Apex. Yeah. If you like a USB port down there. If you like this video, check out our other RV tours. There's a playlist linked up above and in the description. Thanks for taking the adventure with us. We'll see you later.